But before we jump into coding, let's review and look at what is still to come. We have now seen how the Spring Web Services project was generated from the Maven archetype inside IntelliJ. We had a look at all the elements generated in the pom.xml. Here we changed the name and the URL link from the default. We changed the order of the build and uh, dependencies elements. We upgraded both the Maven compiler plugin and the Maven Tomcat plugin to Java 7, which is what our fictional insurance company use. Now later on, we will add the JAXB2 plugin to the pom.xml so that we can generate our Java classes from our insurance service XSD file. In the web.xml, we changed the default generated display name. We also added a reminder comment for ourselves here to add an transform whistle location element to the generated servlet element. In this slide, we can see this is an init param element. And as documented in the official API documentation, this init param element will enable relative address locations in the whistle to be transformed using the request URI of the incoming HTTP servlet request. We review the Spring WS servlet.xml, which is essentially a XML Spring application context file that was generated for us from the Maven archetype. The annotation driven element was added for us during the Maven archetype generation. This element will enable the payload root annotation endpoint mapping in our SOAP Spring endpoint class. We also added some more reminder comments for ourselves here. When we implement the SOAP endpoint, we will require a component scan context for our annotated spring elements, such as the services and component. And the dynamic whistle element will dynamically generate the whistle for us from our insurance service XSD file. In our manual whistle generation tutorial, we generated a XSD file from the incoming insurance request and outgoing insurance response XML files. This is the insurance service.xsd file. We did this inside of IntelliJ as part of the process on how to manually generate a whistle document. We will now use this insurance service XSD file together with the Maven JAXP2 plugin to generate our Java classes. The Maven JAXP2 plugin is an open source project of which you can get the full details in the link provided in the slide. Now following the link to the JAXP2 Maven plugin URL from the slide, Here it says, the Maven plugin wraps and enhances the JAXP schema compiler and allows compiling XML schemas into Java classes in Maven builds. Next year at the quick start, here it says, put your schemas, XSD and bindings, XJB, into the source main resources folder and add the plugin to your pom.xml and this is exactly what we will do so we will cut and paste this plugin section moving back into IntelliJ now select our pom file now we have added the maven jxp2 to our build section recall that when we manually generated the whistle file we generated xsd files from the xml files for insurance request and insurance response using intellij then we combine those two generated xsd files into a single xsd file we will now copy that file insurance service.xsd into the source main resources folder Now let's 
do a Maven clean compile inside IntelliJ and see what happens. It looks like it ran successfully. And now we see underneath our target directory, there's a generated sources directory. And underneath here is our com Nico design spring WS insurance package. And in here, we can find our generated insurance request Java object file. And we can also find our insurance response Java object file that was generated for us by this plugin. Here we can see the amount, confirmation ID, and order date under insurance response. In insurance request, we can see the applicant, insurance info, and widget info. So we've written our first Java code without actually doing any coding. It was done for us. And we have our basic POJOs, plain old Java objects, ready for our next coding session.